Are you struggling with hair growth? Have you been at the same length for years and years? Are you just finding your hair so hard to manage? If that's you, then this is definitely the right video for you. I'm sorry, girl. This is going to be my start to finish hair growth routine with minimal effort. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall make your paths smooth. Hello, guys. <laughs> No, in all seriousness, I'm starting this hair vlog in a bit of a random order because my hair has been washed. When did I wash my hair? Gosh, what's the date today? It is Monday the 8th of April and I washed my hair last week Thursday. And can you see the body that is bodying? Can we just vibe? Because this hair is giving and I basically did almost next to nothing. So if you're a lazy natural and you just want to know what it takes to grow long, healthy hair, natural hair then this is definitely the channel for you because baby we're about to grow some inches all day every day hello guys and welcome back to my channel it's your girl janet davies your hair growth guide if you have been at the same length for years and years you reach your hair growth plateau your hair keeps breaking off it's brittle it's dry it's not growing then this is the channel for you because i'm going to be showing you everything that i do to my hair on a daily basis that you can reach your hair growth goals because i've been on this journey for over 13 years okay it's been a long time so if you want to go and watch my old videos go ahead um but right now your girl's hair is flourishing i've had two babies okay and there's no sign of postpartum hair loss like come on postpartum hair loss where and that's not just because of my routine your girl has been looking after herself, okay? Self-care has been the epitome of my life. I've been eating well, I've been exercising, I've been taking all the supplementations that you can supplement, and I've been just looking after myself from the inside. So if you haven't watched this video, which I'm gonna recommend here, I solve hair growth for all black women. Like, there's no, no black woman, no texture um, excluded from that video watch it and then come back and enjoy the hair growth vlog that we have going on this is day four hair and it is it is flourishing thriving and i'm going to be showing you guys exactly what it is that i do to make sure that i maintain length with very minimal effort if you're a lazy natural like myself i don't say lazy actually if you're a natural that doesn't want to be spending all day in a shower all day detangling then girl come and be on board because anybody got time i've got two kids okay i can't be spending time to do my hair but i still want to look cute but i still want to make sure i maintain length so i have my hair in four braids pretty much and this is the result no gel no nothing i have my hair in four braids and it's completely dried out i'm probably going to wash my hair in a few days i'll definitely update you guys but when i do i will be showing you guys exactly maybe not the actual wash day but i'll be talking about it and updating you guys as i get on but this is day four hair and it is thriving it's so moisturized i hope you guys can just tell yeah it's not really obviously defined because i wasn't really going for that look but maturity is understanding that your hair doesn't need to be super defined but it's still absolutely chef's kiss beautiful okay but my hair is honestly stretched to minimize tangles because we don't do tangles over here anybody got time for that and it's moisturized and i was in a protective stuff for four days but now i wanted to look cute so that's me and yeah i'm gonna catch you guys when i update you with something interesting so bye psych did you really think i was gonna go around all day with my hair like this on a monday absolutely not so yesterday was sunday so my hair was like this really cute but ain't no one got time to be trying to you know detangle hair unnecessarily or creating more tangles than necessary so for the most part guys i put my hair in, in a protective style 90 percent of the time and this is a sunday or i've got an event or i'm filming quite frankly my hair does not rub on any fabric like this there's absolutely none of that nada nah so for the most part because my hair is in a stretch state great but i'm gonna be putting it up and this is me you know i was literally gonna like put the camera away but i was like no you guys deserve to know the real 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 truth i don't have my hair out almost ever okay so yeah this is gonna be me <laughs> and so what i like to do is kind of put my hair in almost a bantu knot to kind of maintain the stretched stretchedness of it and that will prevent it from creating tangles so 
I work from home, so I'm okay to look like this. But obviously there are variations you can do to look a bit more presentable. You could also like have a few pieces of hair here um, to make it look cute. Or you could do a low bun. Um, but because I don't like to have my hair in a low bun, because I might lay down and I'm like, that's super irritating. But this is gonna be me with my headscarf until I'm probably gonna make my wash day a bit sooner because I've been enjoying not waiting too long to wash my hair because I get less tangles guys and I also release the braids that I had in my hair a bit sooner than I would have um, but that's fine I'm just gonna wash my hair sooner so I always try to protect the nape of my head okay because that place can get so naughty so unbearably so to prevent stress on wash day you also gonna wear a headscarf and that is it. Simple AF, okay? This is gonna be me probably for the next few days. And I'll definitely update you guys if I'm doing anything different or new. But yeah, thank you guys, bye. So what had happened was I went swimming and I just realized I actually need to wash my hair because it's my son's birthday, literally this weekend. He's gonna be turning one. Oh my gosh, my baby boy. But my hair, I've just come back from swimming. I look crusty, so please don't judge me. And we're gonna hop right into the shower for a quick wash day routine. If you wanna see my full detailed wash day routine, I'll definitely link it in the cards. But let's just wrap this up as quick as possible. And because I only washed my hair a week ago, it's probably not gonna take as long because my hair is not very tangled. But yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna blow out my hair also, and I'm gonna give myself a trim. As you already know, I am a stand for stretched hairstyles. So what you will see in all of these routines is that I'll always do a wash day and follow it up with a stretched or a protective style because honestly, that is the best way for length retention. Um, if you're not serious about, or if you're not interested in growing your hair, great, you can have it out and you know, you can do, do all that good stuff. But for those who are on this journey with me as well, trying to grow long, strong and healthy hair, you wanna make sure you do your protective styling and your stretch hairstyles. Because if you allow your hair to shrink, you'll get tangles, which means a breakage, and that's something we do not want. So let's get right into this wash routine. So we are in the shower, and I realize I don't really talk to you guys whilst I'm doing this wash day because the water is running and it's very chaotic, but let's see how much I can talk to you as I'm going through this. So first things first is I'm gonna section my hair. If you aren't working in sections, then I don't know what you're doing because sections are everything. If your hair is really thick like mine, or even if it's not thick, you wanna make sure that you're not kind of getting overwhelmed with just the density of your hair. You wanna make sure you break it down so that you can target these things called tangles because these tangles can honestly be the bane of life and can be the reason you're not really getting much, much length retention because the tangles are causing so much breakage. So first things first is to section. So I've typically been working in four sections, but I feel like I'm a bit of a pro now and I've been working in two. I've been able to just kind of like manage two sections alone and I'm good. So I'm literally just gonna be sectioning my hair. And the things I'm gonna be using are clips, of course. And I'm probably gonna start off with this section and let's see how do this so you may not the wind is blowing in the background so hopefully you guys can hear me but hopefully you can also hear me as the shower is running but yes as I said we're working in these two sections and I'm just gonna be saturating my hair that was kind of pointless wasn't it but I'm just gonna be saturating my hair with water because if you're a low porosity girl like me it takes a while for your hair to get really saturated and if you want the product to work more effectively you want to make sure your hair is completely completely saturated and all i'm going to be doing is detangling with these god-given fingers i haven't really filed my nails but i did do it last week so i think it should still be okay um so i'm just going to detangle it with my fingers because i always say fingers first these combs they're great they're great you know but they can rip your hair out. And I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. You wanna make sure you use your fingers first because that will help you to feel the knots in your hair. And then you can gently go in and break anything down. And if it's still, you know, really hard to dangle, you can go out and just cut. 
those stubborn knots out and then you can use your comb. The comb really is not to detangle, it's really to just remove shed hair. If you don't know already, your hair sheds about 50 to 100 strands in a day. So as you can imagine, if you haven't combed your hair in a week, in two weeks, you're gonna be accumulating a lot of hair. So if your hair sheds 100 strands a day and you haven't combed your hair in 30 days, that's what 30,000 pieces of hair, if I've done the math right, mum brain, coming out of your hair. That's a lot of hair. So as you can imagine, um, I think a lot of people do get you know concerned, especially when they go natural, they're like, oh, my hair is falling out. Every time I comb it, hair comes out. Yeah, hair's coming out, but it's not broken. It's just natural shed. Of course, you can have ex excessive shedding um, and there are things you can do to, to work on that. But if you're just, you know, you have, you're using good products, you've got a good routine, you're gentle, it's perfectly fine for some hair to come out in the shower or whatever when you're brushing and i only ever detangle my hair on wash day you my my hair will not see this comb until the next wash day because it's not necessary whatsoever for you to be detangling your hair every single day unless you're styling it um, but then yeah so if you style your hair too much and you're detangling every single day you can cause a lot of breakage in that as well so let's get <laughs> right into it Of course you guys know I love the Tangle Slayer, but if you're on a budget, good alternatives can still be like aloe vera gel if you have the time and patience for that. But the Tangle Slayer honestly has been my go-to for the last like five, six, seven years, however long it's been. Um, and I'm literally just gonna saturate my hair with water. And hope that I don't get water all over the floor. As you can see, my hair is literally still not 100% wet. And I've been under the shower for about, what, 45 seconds? So now we're gonna go in with our beloved, ooh, look at her, she's thick, okay. Um, I'm very heavy handed, but I also have a lot of hair. You will not need this much conditioner, but if you have hair like mine, you probably will. So, all I'm gonna be doing is detangling. I find that when I detangle first, um, my wash hair goes smoother because I feel like, honestly guys, you just start with the hardest task first and then you work your way up. So this also helps me to get rid of all the shed hair as quickly as possible so then when I'm shampooing and all that kind of stuff, I don't feel like I'm wasting time detangling, if that makes sense. So if I detangle first, I know that this is out of the way and I don't have to detangle again. So I wanna apply just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. And can you just see, oh, the way this conditioner makes your hair feel, it's that one's where you just have to try it. Like, you can read the reviews and everything, but until you try it, you will never understand my love for the Tangle Slayer. Like, come on, ah, it's such an amazing conditioner. And it's something that I feel like if you were gonna purchase anything from the line, I would definitely recommend the Tangle Slayer and the Ultimate Strength Deep Conditioner, because those two, chef's a kiss. So as you can see, I literally detangled my hair only last week. And because of that, I'm not really getting many tangles. I've got a bit of shed hair that's come out, but that's fine. We're gonna stick on the wall. If you think this is too icky, then just click off this video. We don't want our shower drain to be blocked, okay? So we're gonna put this on the wall. And we're gonna reactivate the conditioner with a little bit more water and my hands are literally gliding through my hair. I might have to do these weekly wash days because honestly my detangling is just like a breeze. Goodness gracious me, look at that. Easy. Both of my hands are gliding through. Easy. Oh my gosh. 
get you a tangle slayer honestly get you a tangle slayer And when you reactivate the conditioner, it helps you save product. Like you don't have to go and put more conditioner in. All you need to do is use more water, just a little bit, and it will just reactivate it and allow you to glide. Like look at that, what it's literally amazing. I don't even want to use a comb because I'm. I feel like it might be a bit too much manipulation for this wash day, given that I literally washed my hair a week ago. And I'm gonna blow dry it. So I think I'm gonna skip the comb. I don't think it's necessary for every wash day, especially if you're gonna do a blowout because you're gonna go through your hair anyway. So to prevent over manipulation, let's skip the comb and save some time. And I can see that on the camera, it's been about nine minutes. Um, so that took me about what? Five minutes at a tangle and I'm done. This is what I mean about minimal effort. Minimal effort. So what I'm gonna do, put this away and work on the other side. I've done that. This is about how much hair I lost in that process. Bearing in mind, I did not use a comb. That's how much I lost. <laughs> um, so yeah, now it's time to shampoo and get rid of all the buildup, excess, bleh, all the yuck. The thing is, shampoo is your best friend when it comes to stimulating not only hair growth, but moisture. One thing that a lot of people find, you know, kind of weird is that you actually need to shampoo for your hair to be more moisturized. Because if you don't shampoo your hair well enough, you will have too much buildup in your hair and it will prevent you from being able to retain moisture. So what I always recommend if you're someone is struggling to retain moisture is to look at their shampoo, and see if they're shampooing frequently enough. You need to be shampooing every single wash day, twice in that wash. Like this shampoo, it's great because it cleanses your hair, but it doesn't strip it of its natural oils. It's got a cast out soap base. And if you know anything about cast out soap is it's very gentle and it's great for sensitive skin, by the way, um, but it helps you to still retain moisture even though it's cleansing. So it's just a, it's just a chef's kiss. It's also infused with so many great herbs and essential oils which help to promote the health and the growth of your hair. So honestly, I stand like the products that, these products have been formulated in such a way that I know so many people love and the reviews do speak for themselves, but this is not even me like shouting out, but you wanna look for a shampoo that will not strip your hair, but will cleanse it. And you wanna be able to make sure that your hair is truly cleansed so that your hair is able to accept moisture because a lot of the time is, um, a lot of the time in this natural hair community, our hair has so much buildup that it cannot even absorb any more moisture. Um, so you wanna make sure you start with shampoo first. Shampoo's moisturized, guys, shampoo. So let's go ahead and shampoo twice. I'm not shampooing once, I'm shampooing twice. So yeah, let's get into that. The foam is just like to die for, not die for, to live for. The, the foam is amazing, especially with the second shampoo. Ooh. That in itself is like a deep conditioning moment. It's just so amazingly soft. I can run my hands without any issue, it's like butter. For whatever reason, I've literally misplaced my scalp massager, but just imagine that it was on my hand, okay? Please, editor, put scalp massager on my hand. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure we work it into our roots, because our roots, of a foundation for hair growth. Oh, it's so, sorry, this shampoo really gets to me. It really does. It's so invigorating to the scalp. It's got rosemary, it's got peppermint, um, essential oils, which are really great follicle stimulators. Ooh. And it's incredibly relaxing and soothing. So, make sure I work that in to my scalp, the scalp 
scalp is the foundation to hair growth. And we wanna make sure that our hair is healthy and flourishing. Time for round two. Work it up in my hand a little bit. Look at that foam, it's getting ready. Whoosh! It's getting foam party in the winter. <laughs> like this shampoo, I'm not afraid to put in my hair because I know it's not just gonna strip it of its natural oils, it's gonna nourish my hair. Like, it's not just your regular, regular shampoo. It actually has things that your hair loves and it will replenish the strength of your hair. So look at that, look at that foam. Can you see that? And with all this foam, we are not stripping our hair. I'm not afraid to rub this in because it's so nourishing. It literally looks like a, condi a conditioner. That is how nice this shampoo is. Final step in the shower is to apply my beloved deep conditioner. She's thick, <laughs> she's not moving. Come on! <laughs> so now we are reintroducing moisture and strength to the strands. The strands have been cleansed and now they are primed for growth. And this is going in just like the Tangle Slayer, like butter, butter. If you aren't deep conditioning every wash day, then we're gonna fight, okay? We're gonna fight genuinely. Comment below if you deep condition every single wash day because girl, deep conditioning is literally life. Just, my goodness. I am gonna shampoo this side after, but what I don't like to do is to shampoo and kind of like leave my hair bare. So as soon as I shampoo, I immediately go in with my deep conditioner because I wanna make sure that my hair doesn't, you know, do something crazy. <laughs> you wanna make sure that when you shampoo, because obviously it's cleansed, it has its natural oils, but your girl's got Afro hair, so those natural oils are great, but they're not everything. So I need to make sure I'm reintroducing moisture and strength and nourishment immediately. So that is going on like a dream. And yes, I am getting some shed hair. And I'll show you at the end how much hair comes out and yeah so look this again is another five minute step and I'm just gonna put her away whilst I do the other side but I really made sure to work that in to the entirety from root to tip so 
and that's me i'm going to shampoo and deep conditioner on the other side and i'm going to show you guys what i do in terms of leaving all that kind of stuff but yeah let's get into it so you girls deep conditioning both sides now and i'm just gonna have myself a shower because the girl needs to have a shower okay um, and then we're gonna put in the leave-in and then prep for the blow dry and all that good stuff so stay tuned for the final result so this has been cooking for the past like 15 minutes as i've had my shower and it's the moment of truth let's up 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 <laughs> why is this stuck girl let me okay no okay i just want to go okay bye gonna rinse her out work this wash day into wash 30 minutes because anybody got all day to wash their hair so all i'm going to be doing is applying some leave in conditioner i'm going to try and squeeze the excess water and because i'm doing a blowout i just am going to use a, a minimal amount of leave in and then i'm going to be using the rev air baby the rev air comes through i won't lie to you i've had her for like five years now and every time comes through so i'm going to be applying probably about this amount to this whole side of my hair i'm going to try my best to work that in and because i don't really like to leave my hair oh look at that as we're about to close i find one single stranded knot so you already know if you've got a single stranded knot, what are you gonna do? Cut it, cut it, anyway. So, cut, because that was not gonna go anywhere. It's like knotted upon knotted upon, it's like three or four different knots there. Anywho, before my hair starts to shrink up and then I'm like, oh gosh, the tangles have come. Before the tangles come, let's just put her away, okay. Those. So, I'm probably gonna put my hair into four chunky braids. Am I? Am I? I'll see how I feel because sometimes I just can't be bothered. But I've got time today, as you can see. So not so much, just a minimal amount. My goodness, did water come from the sky? What on earth was that? I'm literally just gonna rub that in. No oil, I'm, ready. I'm gonna apply oil after blowing it out to seal that goodness in. And yeah. So finger detangling this beauty of a leave-in to make sure that moisture is maintained, okay? So yeah. I have completed the wash 30 minutes. Beauty is her name. <laughs> I never in my life thought that I would ever have hair this long. Like guys, I wish you could understand the joy that I have when I look at my hair and I'm like, wait, that's mine. Like, it's crazy. I never in a million years thought but the tips that I'm showcasing to you guys work and that's why I'm here badgering on about it almost every two weeks, however when I upload, maybe once a year. But ah, girl, can, 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 can you see? Anyway, so all I'm gonna be doing is putting my hair in, nah, not braids, anybody got time for, for braids? But look, can you see the tangles have already started to almost set in. Like, well, I don't know what it is about 
natural hair as soon as your hair starts to dry the tangles come the tangles the tangles so you you've got to be quick so i'm going to put my hair literally just four chunky twists so that the tangles don't come and destroy what i've done you know with washing my hair so literally four chunky twists and we're moving we don't have time okay as a mum of two we just don't have the time and plus blow drying my hair it's going to take a decent amount of time so minimal wash routine please and thank you look already the tangles the tangles the tangles the tangles they've come they've come it's fine it wasn't too much so this is why i'm all for team stretch team protective styles because when i tell you our hair is out to get us okay it doesn't play as soon as your hair goes from wet to, to dry tangles so you need to be as quick as possible to get your hair into a state where the tangles will not come and destroy all your good work, okay? Because who wants to be fighting with the hair? Just work with it. Whilst it's in this malleable state, put it in braids, put it in twists, blow it out, whatever it is. Just make sure the tangles don't come. Because when they come, they come with a vengeance. But if you do notice your hair tangling more often than none, I will say it's probably a sign you need a trim. Um, so that's actually what I'm going to do. When I blow out my hair, I'm going to give myself a nice, easy trim. So put that there. I I have not left anything out. Okay. I'm working with the viewfinder. Ain't no mirror in here. Look, look. What did I tell you about these? These darn tangles already started to form in the back of my head. No one touched it. You, we, you all saw that. I did not touch my hair. And look, a tangle just started forming. A ta like what? Really? Look, hopefully you guys can see. Can you see that? Where did it come from? I didn't move. This is what I mean about as soon as your hair is wet and you know it's gonna dry, put it away. Learn from my mistake, guys. So, hopefully this tangle, <gasps> please have mercy on me, ain't nobody got time to fight with you, just please submit, okay, 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 please, the tangle, <gasps> please. We're safe, we're in safe territory now. The tangles are nowhere to be found. Oh, although I have one more section to do, I'm trying to work the lightning speed at this point. Okay, the moment of truth. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Okay, there we are, there we are. Whew, finally. Oh, okay. Finally. So what I do like to do is give myself, oh, how are you unraveling? How rude. What I do like to do is give my hair a head start with the blow drying process is I don't really blow dry the same way I wash it. I typically wait like 12, 24 hours and then I blow dry my hair because then it's at least just damp and not wet and then it doesn't take forever. So I'm gonna be like this until you guys see me next. So let's get into it. A moment of silence for the fallen soldiers. Look at this floor it is totally so do you see what we do for you guys <laughs> do you see that i've almost caused an electrical hazard because of wash day goodness gracious me you better like comment and subscribe and go and purchase some mineral naturals because i go through it for y'all i really do <laughs>
Hello, so it's a completely new day and my hair has been in those twists. I would say my hair is probably about 60 to 70 percent dry which is great because i really hate starting on soaking wet hair first of all it takes forever anyone got time but thank you i'm gonna be blowing my hair out with the trusty weather and i know everyone in the comments is gonna ask is it available in the uk i'm so sorry it is not i got this literally in 2019 so it's five years strong and i've loved every bit of it but unfortunately they've closed up shop in the uk you're gonna have to speak to Rev Air about it. I think they did an Instagram post. I'll try and um, put it here just in case. But yeah, I'm sorry guys. I genuinely love the Rev Air and it's really unfortunate that not everyone can get a hand hold of it. I know that they still serve the US and Canada, but they do say that you are, it's not ideal to use a, an adapter with the US version because you know the sockets are different, the plugs are different because in the UK we have the three, prong whatever but anywho all that to say i'm sorry guys but if you are in the us or canada you can certainly certainly um grab a rev air i've got um a, dis a discount code which will be in the description bar so definitely look out for that and it's pretty much in all my videos but for our for uk europe the rest of us i'm so sorry i really am but anywho, I'm going to be blowing out my hair because this is a stretch style that honestly has helped me retain so much length. I really bang on about how stretch styles are so important because they are. Stretch styles allow you to have minimal tangles, therefore minimal breakage. So it's literally a no brainer and it looks cute and you can see your length, which is all a, a bonus. But nevertheless, let's go ha into how I make this stretch style still good for length retention because what you don't want is, you know, doing a stretch style, but the method is really off. Of course, I am using the Rev Air, so naturally it is less damaging to the hair, but I do have some other videos showing you how I use different styles of blow up, blow dries. I've got the brush method and just a regular blow dryer. I'll try and link that in the card so that you guys can see alternative methods, but long and short, we're gonna blow our hair out because we don't want those tangles. We wanna minimize breakage and it's gonna call for so much length retention. And exactly how I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna show you guys and you will see exactly how it's gonna benefit your hair long term. So I would recommend that if you are gonna blow out your hair, I would recommend mm, every two-ish weeks is okay. Although I do like to alternate. If you see these vlogs, you'll see that I wash my hair and I'll do some kind of stretch style. So it might be a slick down pony, it might be a braid out, it might be um, a blowout. It just depends on my mood, depends on the UK weather, all that good stuff, good stuff. But we have good weather in the UK. So I'm gonna go ahead and blow my hair out. So let's get to it. I'm also going to be doing a trim, so these are the things I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using this got to be um, heat protectant. I'm going to be using some clips, of course, because your girl's hair is thick. Um, I'm going to use, um, of course, I never ever touch my hair without having a pair of scissors handy because sometimes they're just knots and you're just like, this is too much, let's just cut her out. Yeah pretty much. And of course, I'm gonna use a comb because the red air, if you know, it doesn't actually comb through the hair. You kind of have, I'll show you anyway. But yeah, let's get to it. So I like to work in f sections of four, but I will break this down even further. So depending on the density of your hair, that will depend on what kind of sections you need but I kind of go with as much as possible because I just want to save time. Who wants to spend two days doing their hair? Absolutely no one. I mean, some people do, but it's just not really me. So as you already know, I used the leave-in conditioner yesterday and my hair is really soft, really nice, really nice. And all I'm gonna be doing is applying this heat protectant sure I run that through it really well then I'm going to section this probably into two or three sections 
and look at that the knots are back look at her she's really look come on pathetic don't even try don't even try not on me you see that so do you see why i'm such an advocate of a stretch stuff because if you don't allow your hair to stretch fully it can just cause so many tangles so I've now sectioned this hair and I'm going to show you my exact method and I'm going to literally re repeat the same thing all over my head. I'll show it to you twice and then I'm just, just going to fast forward because otherwise this video will be like five hours long. Comment down below if you like long videos and comment down below if you prefer me speaking directly to the camera or doing voiceovers. I was kind of like in the mood to speak a bit more so I really didn't mind speaking. Um, but yeah, let me know. So with the Rev Air. What I'm going to be doing is finger detangling. I've got another single strand knot. Goodness gracious. This trim is definitely needed. So I'm going to finger detangle. And go in on suction seven on the box and then heat setting one and when i'm done with that once my hair is pretty much 100 percent dry stretched out i'm gonna finger detangle comb through and then go in with heat two just at the very end to make sure that my hair is fully stretched because what you don't want is that half blow dried look i'm gonna try and show you guys because it's like halfway between being an afro and halfway being blow dried and it's always a recipe for disaster because it creates so many tangles so if you are going to blow dry your hair make sure you blow dry it out fully no partials around here So as you can see, it's gotten my hair pretty much drier, but you can see a lot of my texture. <laughs> Let me adjust myself. So what I'm gonna be doing is literally just finger detangling through. And using this brush or comb, you never want to run this through on hair that you haven't finger detangled because you guaranteed will rip your hair out. So all I'm going to be doing is kind of going through, but as you can see, there is a knot right there. This is why I'm so, so in need of a trim. If your hair is knotting like this so excessively, it's probably a sign you need a trim. So girl, get that trim. I'm literally going to cut that out because I don't have time. So yeah, I'm going to just comb through. Once I've kind of gone about this way much, I'm gonna turn the comb this way. So instead of going like that, I'm gonna go like that. Cause I find it does remove a lot less hair and it's a lot more gentler. So I'm just gonna run through my hair now. that has literally got rid of all the texture in my hair as you can see and then I'm gonna go in with the Rev Air again but now with heat setting two So yeah, as you can see, that is fully blow dried and a comb passes through really easy now. And my last step, which is something to not forget, is to apply a little bit of oil to make sure the hair is sealed with moisture and strengthened. 
and because this is going to be somewhat a protective style actually no i would typically twist it at this point each individual individual section but i am going to trim my hair so i don't really need to but just to prevent it getting in the way i'm just gonna twist my hair i think And that's pretty much it. I'm now gonna carry this out to the entirety of my hair. So let's fast forward through and I'll put the exact instructions on the screen. Whew, my back's really hurting, it's barely even started. mentioned you want to make sure your hair is blow dried all the way through because if not it can be very easily tangled so this is the texture not 100% blow dried and I'm going to do the last bit of heat shot to make sure that my hair is as straight as possible and as I'm combing my hair I'm not just like combing it and letting go because sometimes when you do that it just becomes really hard to detangle and it will create more knots especially the ends of your hair when you're detangling you want to make sure that first of all you hold on to your hair because then it will minimize the amount your hair will move and then it will tangle a lot less so yeah comb through hold comb through hold just make sure your hair is not like free and then you're just like this it's just gonna be really 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 damaging And every time you comb through and you can't get it to glide so easily, it's probably because there's a tangle that is really hard. So you have to use your fingers. Otherwise, if you rip it through, your hair will literally break off. So be gentle, guys. Be very gentle.
this side is all done. Let's go and do this. I'm gonna do this off cam. It's giving body. So we are finally finished blowing out my hair and I'm now gonna trim it. But before I do that, Let me show you what I'm working with. So I actually semi-trimmed my hair a little while ago, but I didn't really do the front section because I didn't have enough time. So trimming my hair literally takes five seconds. All I'm gonna be doing is making sure that I have a middle part as much as possible. Let me do this in the camp in the mirror because this is doing too much. So I put my hair in the middle part and all I'm gonna be doing is making sure that it's all the way combed through. Using these bands, I don't know if I still need to trim, but let's just see. I've kind of already done this trim not too long ago, but you know what? It doesn't hurt, does it? can't really like my ends are literally thick all the way to the ends so there's not really much to trim because I have already done it so I'm just gonna take off like a tiny bit just because I've already done all this so that's how much I cut off nothing crazy but what I want to get into is this front section of my head adjust this camera a little bit. Crouching down. There we go. This literally looks like a scarf. <laughs> oh my gosh. I might have to break this. It's just, okay, I got it. So I'm now gonna go into the top two quarters of my head. So trying to be as even as possible. Again, I'm gonna do this in the mirror. And honestly, these methods are, they are very bootleg, but they've been working for me. I've been natural for 13 years and they work. So if you're not someone who likes to like go to a stylist, I mean, I would probably recommend you go to a stylist, but if you literally are on a low budget or you just don't have the time or patience, my friend, <laughs> just copy me. If your hair is not long enough, I'm sorry, because I know I get that comment a lot, but you can always part your hair irrespective of the length of it. So even if my hair was like this short, I would still be able to at least part it in up like this and then cut. Guess what, should I do that? I don't think it makes any difference. So I'm just gonna do this. You can barely see. Okay. Let's see what we're working with. I think I'm gonna cut literally all of this. I don't mind having a shorter layer at the front. So let's do it. <gasps> Am I gonna do it? That's kind of scary. It's gonna grow back, it's fine. I have a hair growth potion. <laughs> okay, let me 
just do it. <laughs> Don't look. Just do. Oh, I literally cut all of that. Oh my gosh. Scary! <laughs> but I know that honestly, detangling my hair is going to be a lot easier like that in itself. Siri, no one was talking to you. My goodness. Are. So now we technically have two la layers and it is quite a blunt cut but I honestly don't mind. I don't wear my hair blown out all the time but still it's giving it a little bit more volume and look at that so much easier to comb oh my gosh yeah. So I think this is probably the end of the video guys because we have been here for a long time. All I'm gonna be doing is putting my hair in twists and in the next vlog, I will show you what I do to maintain this hairstyle and to manage it, especially to prevent all those tangles because even a hairstyle like this can have loads of tangles if not kept good. But yeah, this is how my hair is looking. Just giving myself a trim. Should we do a little length check? Still at the booty length, but my hair is a lot less. It's almost tangle free, hallelujah. So thank you so much for sticking with me guys and I will catch you on the next video. I've been Janet and you guys have been amazing. Mwah.